I remember when I was studying, when I was starting off at uni, I dabbled with programming with code and I built my own game. It was a very, very basic game, wasn't very good. And nowadays you get so much better results. So again, I've lined up an interview with my friend, Josh Lawrence, who is a real life game developer who's built games from scratch. We're gonna be talking about what do you need? How do you get started? And a whole bunch more. So let's start from the very start. Like how do you get started? How do you actually get started making a game from scratch? From a very, very base level, you will need a piece of technology often a computer you can do it on a mac as well um they they don't need to be necessarily too beefy it depends on the software that you use um for that as well uh, often the better the computer the kind of more intense software and the bigger games you will be able to make i would recommend if you're just starting i would recommend getting a game engine um, which is a piece of software that does a lot of the heavy lifting for you. You don't have to write um, things that will do the rendering, which is like showing the images on the screen and all of that, that part gets very, very complex, very quick. So it, it does a lot of the, uh, the low level stuff, the very complex stuff uh, already for you. So the first thing that I would probably recommend would be uh, Unity. So Unity, um, there's hundreds and hundreds, thousands of games out there. Um, that have been made in Unity. Often uh, indie games, a lot like smaller games made by smaller teams, uh, use these sorts of engines. Um, but Unity uses uh, the language C Sharp, um, which is a really good starting point um, language because it's not too uh, overly complex. There's a lot of variety in there that you can that you can play with. Unity also has uh, some Blueprint plugins, which is kind of like your node-based like drag and drop and connect up uh, different nodes so you can say like i want if the player presses forward um, then the character moves forward at this speed um, those sorts of things and you just connect all these different nodes to do the programming you don't have to learn complex syntax and things like that so the visual uh, scripting or blueprints uh, are very, very easy and really good to get your your programming started and to, to understand how to structure code, but without having to actually code. I guess if you want to make more complex games, uh, a lot bigger games, you're going to probably need to learn uh, some programming languages, right? Like you probably can't get by with not knowing anything yeah for like once you start getting more complex if you're just starting out there is a guy uh, on youtube is a he's a game developer but now he's turned into a youtuber um also developing games but his first like kind of big hit game was all done in blueprints because he didn't know how to code this guy has made hundreds of thousands of dollars off this game and it is sold worldwide all he ever did was use blueprints use this visual scripting so you don't necessarily need to know how to code to release a game but understanding code and knowing how to code like c sharp or c plus plus or lua all of these things, they would be very, very good places to start. I guess different types of games may need different sorts of engines to uh, for, for, for people to use, is, is that right? Yeah, definitely. So yeah, Unity is kind of the base. It's what a lot of, uh, a lot of people use, a lot of developers, there's so much stuff online, but Unreal Engine is probably the other one. People may uh, know Unreal Engine because that is what Fortnite is made in, the Epic company. Uh, make Fortnite and make the Unreal Engine. That primarily also uses blueprints. Um, so people make entire amazing games. The Unity, uh, the Unreal Engines visually looks stunning. You will need a much more beefier computer, not like crazy, crazy, but quite a beefy computer. The things in Unreal look incredible. Yeah, that uses the, the visual scripting, um, the blueprints, but you can also program in C++ uh, for that. So that is another option. If you don't have access to a computer um, to be able to do that, but you do maybe have a Nintendo Switch, Nintendo are releasing a game called Game Builders Garage. You can make entire games in it. Again, it's blueprints. It's that visual scripting where you, you're connecting up uh, like your character to movement and things like that. Uh, you can also do programming inside some of the most 
popular games in the world like Minecraft or Roblox. But if you don't have a very powerful computer, there's a bunch of tools for making 2D games um, and they take a lot less power. Uh, there's one called Game Maker, which uses its own programming language called GML or Game Maker Language. Um, it also has some drag and drop functionality in there as well. There's some huge indie games that have been made uh, with Game Maker. There's Godot, uh, G-A-D-O-T, also uses a custom language and both Game Maker and Godot's custom language seems to be very similar to uh, Python. So if you know a bit of Python, it shouldn't be too much of a, a leap there. If you have a PlayStation, a game called Dreams, where you can actually make your own games, and these are 3D, like 3D space games. You can make incredible stuff. There is some crazy games that have been made. People have remade things like Tomb Raider and Sonic and all this sort of stuff inside dreams that is so cool a lot of information there now question that i've got is uh people have got iphones people have got android phones they've got tablets they got all that sort of stuff what about making games for those sort of devices again unity would be the thing that i would recommend um entirely so unity you can make very small games very quickly you can make 2d games and 3d games in unity you'll be able to develop and make games super easily and put them straight onto your phone and you'll just be able to go and and show someone uh, onto your android phone specifically though to be able to put a game on your iphone unfortunately you will need a mac um, so you can develop in unity on a mac as well but if you have a pc and an iphone it's going to be a lot harder to be able to get the game from your PC onto your phone. What's the best thing that you could recommend people to sort of learn and get started in this space? I would jump straight into YouTube uh, as soon as possible. Um, a couple of uh, channels that I would recommend would be um, a channel called Brackies, um, B-R-A-C-K-E-Y-S. Um, so they do a lot of uh, Unity tutorials. There's just a lot of uh, game design ideas, programming, uh, learn about lighting, learn about optimizing your game to make it run better, um, learn about graphics, how to make art. A very similar channel to Brackies is one called Code Monkey. Unity have their own uh, online learning system called Unity Learn. There's a bunch of Unity approved courses. A lot of it is free. There is also uh, more advanced premium content as well if you want to sign up. Unreal have their own online lessons as well. That is so cool. A lot of information there. Can I do this from start to finish by myself? I would almost say that for your first couple of projects, it's probably easier if you start making stuff by yourself so that you can wrap your head around exactly what you're doing, how this works, um, because getting having too many fingers in one pie could get very complex very quick. What's the next steps? How do I get how do I get my game out there? How do I publish it? How do I get people to see it, to buy it? Where do I go from here? So to get people to see it, there is a whole science behind it. It's marketing. It's uh, it's pretty crazy. There are like subreddits out there where you can post things. Um, if you know the website Reddit, um, you can you can post. Uh, things on there you can post through uh, Twitter about your game all those sorts of things just to get the word out um, but if you just want people to actually be able to access it there is Steam where a lot of people buy their games um, made by Valve the people that made like Half-Life and Portal um, you can buy games digitally on there for PC specifically they will take anything um, like they don't have any sort of uh, testing system or anything. You can put anything you want on there. Um, you can make it free. You can make it cost as much as you want. But just know that uh, if you go through that sort of company, like um, put it on Steam or um, the Epic Store. Again, I mentioned uh, Unreal was made by Epic. They will take a cut of the earnings. If you try to go with Epic, um, on the on the Epic Store, they're a lot more selective. They have a much more rigorous testing uh, process, and the game has to be very very good um, to be able to get on the the uh, Epic Store. But give it a go. Why not? There's other ways to do it as well um, through a, a website called itch.io. Um, this is a it's almost like a 
social media platform for game developers where you have your own page and you can post your games. You can post big games, little games, whatever you want. And if you're wanting to develop for uh, mobile platforms, again, Android and iOS, um, you can submit uh, your games to Google and to Apple. I think again, Apple have a rigorous testing process, so it has to be uh, like pretty bug free, but uh, Android, just like Steam, they'll accept anything, they'll take it. Um, and you just have to sign up for accounts with both of those. And if you wanna go for consoles and things like that, much, much harder, but things like Unity and Unreal, those game engines, um, will allow you to just make PlayStation and Xbox versions of the games that you can then send to Microsoft, PlayStation, Nintendo, um, all those those companies. I think that was that was totally awesome. I think you've given a lot of good um, ideas for people who are just wanting to get started. And of course, this video is not about how to physically go and make a game from scratch. It's more giving you the tools and the techniques and some ideas to, to get started, I guess the foundation. Hey, before we finish up, you've got a couple of uh, YouTube channels. Do you, wanna, do you wanna talk about those and what, what uh, those channels are about? So I've got um, a channel called Each To Their Own or Eto. Um, you can find that on, on YouTube. And uh, I have another channel called The Stream Tapes. We uh, play games and we look at them from a game perspective. I think you've definitely given people a lot of good information here. Thanks again, man. Sounds good. Not a problem. Thanks, Emilio. So if you did find it helpful, I know that I did, hopefully you did too, do what you need to do across the social medias by liking, commenting, subscribing. Also check out some of my other videos on my channel so that you don't miss out on all things tech.